Nation. Another one in the bag here, Nathan, Nathan Ake. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I butchered it, but Dutch footballer, professional center back for the AFC, born a mouth in the Netherlands national team. 1995, age 23 from the Netherlands. Nathan Ake has some epic dreads. I was looking for someone who had dreads on the Netherlands team, and I'm glad that this guy's name popped up. Dyed bleach blonde. He's got the roots looking pretty natural. No retwist no scalp showing very thin dreads makes me think that he does get them twisted up but he does have quite the natural look going on um, looking at dreads in his early stages you can actually see some of them combining a little bit um, a lot of the tips still being wispy frayed not really blunted or anything it kind of shows me that he's been keeping minimal efforts into obtaining and maintaining these dreadlocks uh, really reminding me of Renato with the front taper not the front taper the front bangs like this Sway Lee trying to rock that this year as well and uh, when his hair was shorter you can really see some of the fishtails coming in at the front of his dread this definitely being a sign of the freeform movement uh, by not separating what has come together and looking at his dreads with a little bit of back light you can really see the definition it's amazing how thin his dreads have actually become over the years uh, this can be achieved with the dread sponge very thin dreads like this um, you're lucky if you can freeform your dreads into hair like this i find that to be the most amazing hair texture that you can be blessed with, with hair that locks together freeform manner and they end up being thin. I don't know why, I just really think that that's a cool characteristic. A picture of his hair before the bleach, before the blonde being put in, just a regular natural color, does look a lot better than the artificial um, light dye going on. Uh, hair looking wild as he's celebrating here. And uh, I notice a lot of these guys rock their hair flowing down at this length when they're playing on the field. And you also don't really see too many footballers with really long dreads on the field for some reason. I notice the same in the NBA as well. A little bit of a side flick. It's cool to see that the bangs are still into play here. It kind of looks like a bowl cut dread. And uh, if we were just to go over to his Instagram page and see something a little more recent, I'd love to see something a little more recent on here. Dude kind of showing the same length. Now he must be trimming his hair to be in this kind of bowl cut shape. Uh, it was looking a little bit lengthier before this. So it's neat to see that you know he's maintaining his dreads that way, doing what he's gotta do. Keeping them real short. It's a pretty unique look. Kinda reminds me of a mop top, just a little bit. But not to say that's a bad ting or anything, but he's definitely keeping them a lighter look in these days. Yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you guys feel and think about Nathan Ake's dreads. Freeform twist up, what do you guys wanna know? Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace out, one love. Respects for watching the video and I'll definitely see you around next time. So adios, lick a more my friends, lick a more. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already. Later.